And this fire devastated the downtown. That is the word we've heard over and over today. Devastation. Prophetstown is about an hour from the Metro QCA. The fire spread through eight buildings. Six are a complete loss. Two more with smoke damage. The downtown was a vibrant area. The community today mourning the loss and still trying to make sense of it all. And I smelled smoke and I saw flames. So I grabbed my phone and just ran out of the front and called 911. And that started what will likely be a night those in Prophetstown will never forget. A community staple, Cindy Jean's restaurant on fire and spreading fast. Our crews could see the flames from the interstate. You always worry about it because of the older buildings. There's no fire stops. They just go from attic to attic straight through. When fire crews got on the scene, they knew they needed help and fast. All I know is I called for more help, more help, more help. From Clinton to Lee County, from Carroll to Henry, they all came to the scene. Too many trucks to count, all putting water on the downtown until the water started running out. It got to the point where I needed tankers and I just called the county. I said, get me 10 tankers. I don't know where they come from. Just get me 10. The fire drained the water tower and the tower in neighboring Linden. Eventually, they had to go to the river. The river was the biggest help as far as keeping water going. We put two trucks down at the Provostown State Park. And what happened next is a sign of the type of people who live in Prophetstown. My neighbor is on the uh, on EMT and he knew I had this because I've been filling my swimming pool and I asked, so he's like, you got your tank full? And I said, sure. So I brought it in. Farmer Greg Schmidt. Tankers from Rock River Lumber and Grain Company and others started pulling into the downtown, helping in any way they could. Seems like my hometown now, so I'll do whatever, whatever needs to be done. All to try to save a place that's made a name for itself. And the damage is extensive and impacts a huge portion of downtown Prophetstown. This Google Earth image shows Washington Street and the length of downtown. It was taken for Google earlier this year, and you can see a number of the residences and businesses that were affected by the blaze. Again, the fire spread through a total of eight buildings on this block. Six were destroyed. Two suffered smoke damage, but a very different scene this morning. This is an aerial image captured by KWQC's Mark Stevens. As you can see, a major portion of Washington Street engulfed in smoke and flames. The Red Cross has been on the scene since this morning, providing canteen services for first responders and meeting with families and individuals impacted by this fire.